What's up guys, we're gonna do a bike check today of my Santa Cruz Hightower LT. on the bike is a 2019 Hightower LT. Not changed from last year, um, except for colorways and that whole deal. Everything else is the same as the 2018. Um, this is in an extra large, and for reference, I am six foot two and weigh about 165 pounds. The fit with this has been spot on. I was on a large on my last bike, never quite fit right. This has been really good, um, but I will say Santa Cruz sizes a little more conservatively than other brands, so uh, I'm not sure I'd ride an extra large on some brands, maybe like Kona or Transition. So to start off, we'll start with the front fork. We got the Fox 36 um, with the Grip 2 damper, so this is the factory edition. Other than that, it's not any different than the Performance Elite. Um, you got the Kashima coating or the Kashima or the Kashima or I don't know how to say it. Someone tell me below. So you do have that coating, but the damper, this grip two is gonna be in the Performance Elite version as well. It's a really nice fork, 160 millimeters of travel. I went with the 51 millimeter offset. A lot of people are going 44, but this bike from top to bottom uh, on all the stock builds is spec with 51. So I just stuck with that and I haven't had any issue with it really. So yeah, you got the 160 millimeters of travel, the grip two, you got high speed and low speed compression adjustment on the top here. You got high speed and low speed rebound adjustment down on the bottom. So really adjustable fork, but also it's just been one of the best forks I've ridden, which is super basic because everyone loves Fox suspension, but there's definitely something to that. Moving on to the rear suspension, we got the Fox Float X2. Had a coil on the last bike and I was pretty convinced like that was the best rear shock stuff you could do. But I think with a combination of just how much I like how this bike feels, with the suspension design um, and this shock, I like this setup better than the coil I had on the Enduro. Just like the 36 on the front, the X2 has a lot of adjustment. So you got high and low speed compression as well as high and low speed rebound. And it's got a climb switch or just like a firm switch. So that helps with the climbs. It's not the most efficient climbing shock, um, but as far as dampening, feel, that whole deal, just on descents, it's probably the best feeling shock I've ridden. Moving on to the third part I added, um, apart from the stock build, is these i9 Enduro 305 wheels. Uh, I had the Rovals on the last bike, they were the aluminum ones, uh, and to be honest they were just not good. And I definitely got tired of not having very nice wheels, I think. Uh, that transmits the most to overall feel on the trail, and these have done a really good job um, with this bigger proprietary spokes uh, and then a really nice hub. It's just overall an awesome wheel set. Moving on down to drivetrain. Uh, this build is going to come with the GX Eagle drivetrain. Had Eagle on the Enduro and I like it pretty well. I mean the range is nice. It can definitely be a little bit finicky with the shifting but that's kind of part of the deal I guess. And then paired up with there the only difference is I have this X01 cassette. From there I guess we can talk a little bit about the cockpit. We got the race face effect handlebars and the race face effect stem both in the 35 millimeter clamp diameter. This is the first time I've run that setup and I'd say I noticed a little bit of a difference from that compared to the 31.8 so been pretty happy with that, but I'll probably change out the handlebars for a little bit more rise. With that, we got the SRAM Code R brakes. I had the guides on the last bike, and to be honest, so far I can't really tell much of a difference. I know they're supposed to be a little bit beefier for more downhill oriented riding. And they've been pretty good, but I already had to change an olive and barb in this one, and the pull on them is just a little bit soft towards the end, even though I've, they're basically brand new and I've bled them a couple times. So kind of iffy on those and thinking about trying some TRPs or something like that. 
type at some point or another. Going from there, you got the Rock Shocks Reverb Dropper Post. Not super stoked on this one either, but <laughs> kind of exhausted my funds on the fork and shock and wheels as far as upgrades on this bike immediately. But it's been fine so far, I just know a history of reverbs kind of messing up on people will probably come back to bite me eventually on this guy. With the saddle, I got the trusty Chromag Trailmaster DT. I've run this on my last three bikes and I don't plan on doing any different. I love this saddle. Running Crank Bros pedals, I really like the mallets. Don't really feel a reason to change. As far as this, we got the MRP Bash Guard and I've already hit it pretty hard a few times down here. So I've been really happy with throwing that addition on there and then it's got the chain guide with it as well. In the tires, I got the DHRs front and rear. That's just what it came stock with. They've been pretty good. I haven't noticed a huge difference from having the DHFs. Um, and then in there, I got the Huck Norris tire inserts. Can't really comment on what they've done. I just know I don't have any dents and I haven't burped tires. So, so far so good. Uh, I think if I was really noticing something, it'd probably be a bad thing. And then kind of, I guess, wrapping it all up, I put the Invisiframe stickers on here which have been a big help because I've already scratched the heck out of this Invisa frame so the frame itself would be all scratched up if I didn't have this. It took forever but it's definitely been worth it and then I put just custom pink stickers over the logoing because I really like the look of the Nomad in 2015. Kind of wanted to copy that even though this blue is a little bit different. I've been really happy with it so far. So yeah that's my Hightower LT. Enjoying it a lot. Uh, definitely got a review coming sometime soon. If you got any questions about the bike, let me know down below and I'd love to talk to you about it a little bit. Like I said, we'll definitely talk a lot more in depth in it coming up soon. What's up, folks? What's up, squad fam? What's up? I don't ever know what to say at the beginning of one of these stupid things. You need to come up with your own little catchphrase. I, I say that at the, every time. Choo-choo, bitches.